हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आर नेक्स्ट वीडियो एज यूजल इट इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द प्लांट पैथोलॉजी एंड वी आर डीलिंग विद द सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन फंजाय नाउ वी आर कंप्लीटेड ऑन वीडियो अबाउट दैट नाउ वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग दैट इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव सीन इन व्हिच आर द मेथड दिस सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन फंजाय डू टेक प्लेस थ्रू गैमेटांजियल कांटेक्ट और सम अदर वी हैव सीन अ फाइव डिफरेंट सिस्टम्स and now we are continuing to the next part in this video we will deal with the sexual spores in fungi and few special conditions or the conditions that uh, uh, help the fungi for the re sexual reproduction and all uh, now let's not waste the time and let's begin it sexual spores sexual spores are the result of fusion of two opposite sex it is very common definition and there is very important thing that is these sexual spores are resting spores and these does not germination germinate as soon as the formation when means when they get formed the sexual spore get formed they won't get germinated they are resting spores and among them there are four different types of spores which we will be discussing now that is the oospore zygospore ascospore basidiospore they usually represents their uh, groups like oomycota zygomycota and uh, ascomycota and uh, basidiomycota and all now let's see oospore now now we shall begin with the oospore oospore uh, means first let's see the uh, word oospore o means egg spora means seed it is developed from unequal gametangial copulation i hope you remember the gametangial copulation where the entire gametangia will get fused so i just drawn to show you how oospore look like but don't stick on to this image because this is just a reference means it will be a circular oval or shape uh, it will be just like this but it's not the all oospores exactly doesn't look like that it's different and don't see that it is for the zoo zygospore i will explain you that zygospore next one is and the zygos means yolk and spora means seed a yolk formed seed you can call and formed as a result of plasmogamy between two gametangia which are equal in size remember it is also as a result of gametangial copulation only and here gametangial copulation will be in a isogamous condition and now like i will explain you that and has a large food reserve and preferred for long distance dispersal these zygospore are usually preferred for the long distance dispersal i will explain you how this spore forms see i hope you remember this structure where i have drawn while explaining the gametangia copulation in the isogamous condition uh, the opposite poles come near and they they form the plasmogamy the fusion of plasmogamy takes place and as a as a result they develop a spore in between them that is the zygospore this this is a normal condition in the zygomycetes and it is usually preferred for the long distance dispersal and has a very large food reserves the very next spore is the ascospore in this ascos means sac and aspora means seed they are formed by the nuclear fusion immediately followed by this nuclear fusion there occurs the meiosis these four daughter cells uh, which are result of meiosis will divide mitotically to form the eight haploid nuclei see first their takes place uh, their uh, nuclear fusion will takes place okay this nuclear fusion is a one cell which undergo meiosis to result into four daughter nuclei and these four daughter nuclei will again divide mitotically to result into eight haploid nucleus thus at end there exists the eight haploid nuclei in a sac these eight haploid nucleus are called as ascospores and the sac is called as ascus 
This is the way the ascospore is found. Whenever you remember, you heard a word ascospore or ascus, remember this structure. This is just for reference. And this structure, there is will there will be a sac-like cell. If within that, there will be eight haploid nuclei. And these ascus are developed or formed by a specialized hypha called as ascogenus hypha and thus they result into ascogonium and thus they form this uh, cell or sac which is a cell itself and thus this ascospore is formed in the ascospore there exists another special uh, time or we can say a condition or character we can say it is the puffing a puffing means a large number of acyl are burst means the release pores a burst simultaneously so that a cloud of ascospore forms when all of them released simultaneously a cloud of ascospore forms and that is called as puffing but this puffing doesn't form in the flask fungi and next comes the basidiospore it is the last spore basidion means a small base and spora means seed spore born outside the fungi this basidiospore is formed outside the fungi this is the best example i can explain you all the things related to basidiospore with this see this is a base above which there is a, a horn like projections such projections are called as sterigmata and above such projections there forms a spore and that is the basidiospore and the point where steric matter and spore meet are called as helum and this basidium basidium is a spore bearing structure this is the spore bearing structure and here spore is not as such within as in ascospite it's not within it is outside the fruiting body and per basidium there exists only four spores four projections are only possible now we have completed the sexual spores uh, topics related that and now we are seeing the special conditions uh, let's see that heterokaryosis the name itself indicates that existence of different nuclei in the same individual a uh, heterokaryan cell means it's the same cell in which two different nuclei exist this condition is called as heterokaryosis and it is usually formed uh, when a heterokaryotic spore is germinated or uh, when there is a homokaryotic diploid i means uh, dikaryotic condition and that one will be mutated means this is a cell in which it's a homokaryotic condition here one will get mutated and converted into another different nucleus thus result in the formation of a uh, heterokaryotic condition or it may be introduced to it or it may undergo some changes like that heterokaryotic condition may exist and which may be carried out also parasexuality parasexuality means it is a process a uh, very common in dermatomycetes in some uh, ascomycetes also it is seen means they does not have sexual life cycle they make use of this parasexuality to maintain their generation and to maintain their uh, entire fungi as a sexual life so the process in which plasmogamy karyogamy and hybridization takes place but not at specific point of time of the life cycle here everything takes place but not at the right point of time in this parasexuality uh, they exist a condition which is similar to sexual life cycle but they all happens in a asexual condition that is the deuteromycetes deuteromycetes have only the asexual stages that is why it is called as a uh, fungi imperfecti so this is a condition there are sequence of processes Uh, which is not required for us, but still, just remember this parasexuality help the dermatomycetes to maintain their generations. And anastomosis, this is a very important one because this usually leads to this heterokaryotic condition. 
see uh, one hyper hyper from the one individual will reach the another individual and release its nuclei to that the fusion takes place and they release nuclei to that thus as a result the heterokaryotic state may end by this by this anastomosis it usually leads to heterokaryotic condition because the hypha which is reaching out are of different individuals and this is the clamp connection and every the concept will be explained through the images or the diagrams what i have drawn and it is very common in basidiospores i mean basidiomycota see here this is this is a dikaryotic condition means this clamp connection helps to maintain the dikaryotic condition so this is a dikaryotic condition they directly don't divide see what happens one nuclei forms a projection like this and starts to move in this direction then in this point of time they both get divided and uh, the division takes place that is the karyosis takes place then one from here will reach here one will reach here other will remain there itself like this and when they touch this this nuclei will enter the cell and the wall will be formed in between these two cells and two separate cells will be formed as a result of this clamp connection by this the heterokaryosis can be maintained and it is very common in basidio mycota by this i end this video uh, thanks for watching the video please do like share comment and subscribe